Hi, welcome to a GPC Hammer Source SDK video tutorial brought to you by Abe of GamePublicist.com. By current popular demand from the GPC team, today I present to all a detailed look at skyboxes in this tutorial titled How to Make a Skybox and Choose the Sky. This video tutorial will be using the block tool and the hollow feature. We'll be changing a setting under the map properties menu, we'll use the toggle texture application, and we'll utilize Google to locate and quickly attain access to the sky list, which allows you to look up sky boxes while viewing a column of photos which display each sky box you choose. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go to File New inside my Hammer Source SDK editor. I'm going to make my top view pretty large here. And we're going to start by utilizing the brush tool, or the block tool, which is also known as Shift B. And we're going to hit the right bracket key on our keyboard until we've got the largest grid possible. Now just go ahead and click the top left up uh, not at the very outside but one in from the outside and scroll all the way down and bring it all the way over here so we're one unit in from the outside bounds of the map. If you for instance moved it out here you would fail completely and you'll end up with no skybox and some errors. So you want to make sure that your skybox is inside the bounds of the map. Okay, so we selected the circumference of our skybox from our top view, but we don't know what the height of it is until we go to either the side view or the front view. You'll see that in the front view it's the same height as it is in the side view because clearly both of those views are relatively associated with each other on the same plane. So go ahead and click the top bound of the box and click and drag it all the way to the top and click the bottom bounds of the sky blocks and, and click the bottom bounds and click the bottom bounds of the skybox and drag them all the way down to the bottom and once again we're making sure not to go outside of the map boundaries okay so now if you look at your side view you'll see it's uh, a big box as well so go ahead and just hit enter now you've got a box you could move it around on accident and you'd end up with some problems. But since we're making sure to use our snap to grid feature which can be located by going to map snap to grid we're not going to end up with those errors because we're going to make sure that our objects are aligned with each other and inside the boundaries. Okay so we've got that box but right now it's just a big huge cube and it's not really acting as a skybox or a room or anything it's just a massive cube that has completely swallowed the entire map um, and this is a pretty big section by the way uh, this is the size of pretty much you know the biggest gmod map you've ever been in uh, there's no way they could really get any bigger than this other than maybe bringing it out to this edge but uh, I would recommend, you know, just sticking in this with uh, the 31744 size. Now go ahead and go to Tools, Make Hollow. You can also just press Control H. Now when you press Control H, you'll be prompted, how thick do you want to make the walls? And it mentions you can use a negative number to hollow outward. And that's just what we're going to do. We could use negative 64 if we would like which is the exact horizontal height of your eyesight actually in Gary's mod the 64 units so now we actually have a hollow box it has six sides and if we click this X here in the center 
we'll be selecting all of the sides. Now these sides are grouped together and if you accidentally ungrouped them by going to ungroup and you clicked one side and moved it around you actually wouldn't be selecting everything you'd only be selecting one side and you wouldn't have a skybox anymore you'd have a broken skybox that won't work and you'll end up with some errors and you probably won't be able to see a skybox and potentially you'll break your map and it won't even be able to load so you really want to make sure that the skybox section of your map development is your most knowledgeable area when you start making a map if you want to actually play it okay so one thing that you might end up doing on accident when you first get started making a skybox is have IG clicked which ID ignores groups if you ignore groups when you click on an object and try to move it you'll only move part of it so say you thought you should move your skybox and you clicked it and you moved it somewhere well you're actually not going to be moving your entire skybox you're just going to be moving one wall so you want to make sure that ignore groups is not ticked at the moment and so we have our skybox box but we don't actually have it set up to be a skybox so what we're going to do is using our camera tool we're going to look around and start moving with W S A and E and while we're inside here if we go back to our selection tool we can click any of the walls from inside our 3D view and since we have ignore groups checked we'll be clicking the entire skybox at the moment so if you went ahead and you clicked your face edit sheet or your texture application you will be provided with a series of buttons and selections etc so go ahead and locate the browse button click browse and then type tools sky so now that you have that selected you can just go ahead and click apply and now that you've clicked apply while the entire skybox was selected you've applied the skybox texture now this texture is a special texture it's not just a texture in that actually it's going to be providing a specific function it's going to be locating a set of uh, skybox values well one in particular actually if you go to map map properties you'll see you can type in the name of your map and your map description and just below that you'll see skybox texture name now the default is sky day 0101 but we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go to Google and we are going to type in sky list and you will see your very top listing is a sky list the main thing to pay attention to here is the name you've got sky borealis 01 you just go ahead and hit copy and go back over to your hammer and just paste it and so we have now changed our skybox texture name and as soon as we hit apply that's actually going to set our skybox in the map now there's not especially anything else to know um, one question that I did have from a friend who is just getting into mapping is he said how do I make these tiles look like the skybox well actually in the hammer source SDK editor the skybox is always going to look like this it's just gonna be a bunch of fun exciting monotonous grid like files with the text skybox basically all that it's doing is it's taking this texture that you've applied to this cube and it's going to apply the specific value that you chose from map map properties and it's going to render them when you export your map thank you for viewing this tutorial and I believe I've emphasized any of the potential issues that you could have with making a skybox and shown you how to make a skybox in a proper way that is simple to understand if you do have any questions um, go ahead and go to gamepublicist.com slash forum and locate the hammer SDK tutorial section. We will see you around on the forum.